on today's What I Do. I love what I do, and I love people. I love documenting their life. A behind-the-lens look at photographer Julie Joss's life, where posing for the camera and praying happens all the time. What I found is that God has helped me throughout my business. I, I pray before sessions. Welcome to What I Do. I'm Rob Melnichuk. This is a show that celebrates your workplace calling. Julie Johnson is a housewife turned award-winning photographer whose success in business has everything to do with having God in the picture. I'm Julie Johnson and this is What I Do. Can you do a little dance for us? My love for photography began in high school. I would always take a camera with me everywhere that I went. My passion for photography is everything. I love what I do. Oh, he's so cute. I love capturing the emotion between mother and child, father and daughter, a married couple, get, capturing the love between them that God has given them. And it was after Julie's own wedding day that her passion for photos hit a new level. I got married at 22, had my first baby at 23. I fell madly in love with my daughter and I just wanted to document every part of her life. Three kids and two and a half years later, Julie's picture-perfect life had just one problem. It was my desire to raise them and be at home with them. And so I would set up backdrops and take pictures of my children, but I never ever thought of it as a career until I prayed that, uh, that God would give me um, a career that I could stay at home with my children. With faith and film in hand, in 2001, Julie turned her camera into a career. We started researching all the, uh, the, the professional cameras, lenses, um, the local competition to figure out what everybody was charging and what they were doing. I realized by looking at these other photographers, not a lot of them had websites. So I really felt God calling me to really put a lot of effort into the website. And it worked. Five years later, Julie had a successful studio. Well, in 2006, I knew that eventually my business was going to expand. I needed to change my name and become incorporated. So I prayed about it and felt the Lord calling me to name it Vine Images. And because what I'm photographing is His creation. So John 15.5 is, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I am him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I give him my business, it's his, and he has provided all that I need. And without him, it would be nothing. I love this one. What I found is that God has helped me throughout my business. But God isn't Julie's only partner in the business. My husband has been um, amazing. He has been such a strength. And even supporting me with um, when I have weddings, he's with the kids. Still, it hasn't been easy. I was burning out and I just was beginning to not like what I was doing. And I was like, Lord, you've given me this passion and this desire. And I love photography, but I don't want to dislike my job. And he spoke very clearly to me, you have to have a day of rest. And so I have committed Sunday mornings as my family time, and I do take a day off during the week. Something that's very important to Julie, who's all about special moments caught on camera. I give even wedding clients what I would want, the type of photography style that I would want on my wedding day, which is capturing the emotion between people, getting the laughter, sharing the moments, and the, the joy and happiness in life. And that's why I do what I do. That's all the time for this week's What I Do. Seeing Julie in action gives new meaning to the phrase super mom. A mother of three, she does about 50 weddings a year and photographs about six newborns a week. Julie's secret? Her common sense business practice is key, but it's also Julie's live and learn attitude.